It's a no makeup and tracky day. Well, yeah, tracky day. And I thought I'd just pick up the camera and do a bit of vlogging because I'm doing some bits to the flat today and we love homeware stuff. So I thought I'd yeah, give you a bit of a insight. Oh, I've got the outdoor balcony lights on. Let me turn, turn those off. Which one is it? Is that done? No, no, there's so many light switches. Yeah, they're off. Um, so I've got a big fat cupboard of stuff I just haven't sorted yet. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll take you with me. I've got a wash on at the moment, change my bed sheets, feeling productive. Um, I'm quite hungry. I've only had a smoothie today and it's, what's the time? It's like two o'clock, I think. Yeah, 2.15. Um, I FaceTime my parents, had a little catch up with them um, and yeah very very happy to be here still i i wake up here and i'm like can't believe it's mine very can't believe it's mine and happy new year everyone first vlog of the new year i'll be doing so much more i know i say it every time but i will i need to it's my new year's resolution to do more on youtube um so you'll be seeing a lot more of me how exciting so make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so basically i have this i can't believe i'm even showing this to you it's like exposing myself Look at this. So you basically, this is a whole cupboard. So you walk down the, down the old hallway. You're gonna get a full flat tour soon, but you open this cupboard and the whole thing is full of absolute rubbish. I need to unpack it all basically. And this rail just came, which means I can unpack a lot of it. Need to make that rail. So this vlog is gonna be a bit of DIY. This lamp my landlord left in the flat and I'm just not a fan. It just doesn't go with the old feng shui. So that's what I want to do today, just tackle that. Because I keep saying I'll do it and I keep putting it off. And now I've got that rail. Bit of DIY is coming into action. Hey Google, what is, hey Google, volume down. Actually, hey Google, off. Right, so I balanced you on a wine glass. So if you fall, then that's because the wine glass has given way. Um, so I'm going to do a little setup here of, I'm gonna need a knife to open it. Oh! I didn't see that, guys. I didn't see that. Um, so, I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna get a bit hot, I think. So, I actually had some news today from my landlord. This is a bit, a bit far away. Let me place you a bit better. Oh, she's not working. Let me put you back here. Maybe that's a bit better. So I actually have some news today from my landlord about my sofas, because as you can tell, they're tiny. Like, look how small that is. And like, they're not the comfiest sofas ever. And basically we agreed to part furnish it. So he would furnish the living room and I'd furnish the, um, and he's really nice. Like we get on really well, really nice landlord. So I just thought I'd be honest with him and just be like, by the way, the sofas just aren't a thing. Um, so he said that he'd swap them for me and he'd find some new ones. So hopefully I'm getting some new sofas soon, which is really good news. Um, Cause I just think this area has so much potential and these sofas just let it down. So that's good news, good news of the day. Oh God, there's a lot of parts in this. I might need to completely put it down. I had one of these rails at my last flat and it literally tilted to the side and basically snapped in half. It is recommended that this is undertaken by two adults and the assembly time is 30 minutes. I'm one adult and I have all the time in the world. So let's hope this doesn't take too long. I have a whole like toolkit that I got in IKEA last year. So yeah, Maybe that comes in handy. I finished it guys I had to get the hammer out I was it was all it was all hands go but it is all done and I can go and put it in the little cupboard and make it really cute um it didn't take 30 minutes it took about 15 and it is a one-man job so 
don't listen to the instructions guys i um i definitely would advise a hammer in the action i hope it stays together it looks all right my last one literally slanted over here but it was from amazon and it was like 20 pounds so i'll leave the link down below because these are so 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 helpful um oh there's two more guys there's two more poles i just missed out two poles so she's not finished i thought it was a three polar it's a five polar brb managed to add the extra parts and now it's complete um i'm going to empty out that um thirsty i'm going to enter empty out that wardrobe the, um the, that um store cupboard but the only thing is i don't know if i have enough hangers might need to run to asda and get some more hangers because I really want to complete it today so maybe i'm going to go to asda because i also need to get i just ordered a bin because basically we have this i say we it's literally me um and like it's tiny and they fill up so quickly so i thought i could put a little bin here um so i ordered one from john lewis it was only like 30 pounds it's really nice white one um i don't know why she went off on a tangent i also the candle vase that the candle holder that i got from asda smashed the other night because i let the candle run too low and then it exploded in the kitchen and i'm so glad that joe was here because i screamed and if that was by myself i would have cried um yeah it literally exploded everyone there was um glass everywhere i also might get a vacuum cleaner from asda but the queue is just so long sometimes i'll take you with me to asda because it's such an amazing asda um but yeah mission get this in the storage cupboard just about to leave for asda got my mask um this is giving me anxiety this whole mess and seeing that lamp in the room it's giving me anxiety um but it's fine it'll be fixed as soon as i get these hangers sorted from asda mm. i also need to take the rubbish out it's actually so good here we just have like a massive um like tip downstairs and they saw all the recycling for you, you like pay a service charge they saw all the recycling and everything for you and you just have to put it down there and then bin men come every week so it's actually so handy because obviously when moving in i have so much stuff um so i've got all of that to take down with me look at the food we have um this lift there's another lift with um, a mirror and everything, but we have this lift for everyone moving out so it doesn't bash on the mirrors moving in. Sorry. Um, this is what I mean by the massive room with all the bins. And I literally just chucked mine in here and then it all gets sorted. So good. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I was really worried about all the rubbish because obviously you have to go up and down a lift, but it's actually very good. Off I go to Asda. This is such a big Asda that you have to go through like a tunnel to get in there. It's honestly, when Joe and I first came in here, I was like, why have I never been in here before? So I'm back from Asda, all my bits here. Um, I didn't vlog in there because it was just a bit too much. It was so, so busy. So I'll show you what I have. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I've got when I'm in. So a little Asda haul. I got this box for my bags because I needed somewhere to put them for now. Um, three pounds. Um, I got lots of hangers because that's what she went for. Hoovers, I didn't get a Hoover. It was, they're too expensive and I'm sure I can get cheaper online. Um, so as I said, that little candle holder smashed and they didn't have the same one, which is really annoying because I loved it, but they had these tiny little tea light ones. And so I bought LED tea light lights um, and I got four of those. I got some almond nut butter for my smoothies in the morning. I got these Marmite flatbreads because they're so good. Um, another big candle to go in my big pot that I got from Asda. Some bin liners and a dustpan and brush instead of a hoover, which was £1.50. Cheaper than a... 70 pound hoover in there um i'm actually so hungry and i know it, it's such a weird time to eat but i think i'm just gonna have a small snack i have basically press 
um, foods sent me a big stock up of stuff and I have some tomato soup, half a tomato soup left. So I think I might quickly put that on um, and then I'll have dinner a bit later because I'm so hungry. Had my soup and basically organized the storage cupboard. I thought it was gonna look really like aesthetically pleasing and be like a walk-in wardrobe vibe, but I just have too much stuff um, that I do need to use the storage cupboard for storage. So we've got, all my coats are now out. They've been in a bag for so long. Um, all my storage bags are here, which I think I can put somewhere else, but for now they're there. I've got a suitcase full of my pajamas, which I'm waiting for another set of drawers to come. This is full of stuff that I'm waiting for another set of drawers to come. These are my curtain rails that are going in the kitchen soon when I can get them fitted. And then all of my shoes are down here and then some of them are over on my shoe rack there. And um, this is all going to charity, this whole thing of stuff. Um, and then I need to put all my bags in that little box that I bought, but I'm happy. It's nice to see my coats and my shoes out. I cannot remember the last time I vlogged. Oh. Did I say I had my tomato soup? I cannot remember. But I just had a group Zoom call for my friend's birthday. Um, we all went to school together. Um, so literally it's so weird not seeing them all and not celebrating her birthday. Because normally, I mean, we've been friends for 10 years. So not to celebrate her birthday this year is really weird. But we had a nice group Zoom call, which lasted like an hour. And I've just started preparing dinner. And I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna have a shower, eat dinner and get into bed. Um, I've got, Brussels sprouts, which I'm gonna have with pancetta, garlic, and olive oil. I've cut them all up and I'm gonna like fry them. And then I've got potatoes, crispy potatoes, which I've just got on the boil here. And then I put them in the oven for like an hour to crisp up. And then yesterday I roasted a whole roast chicken. Um, and I took some of that off, had it for dinner last night, and then gonna have it for dinner tonight and dinner, dinner tomorrow and the next day. So I have, so I roasted a whole chicken, it was five pounds and it's gonna last me for four meals, and the chicken is so good. Um, it was like the roast chicken in a bag, and I didn't have to do anything, I just put it in the oven for an hour and a half, so I really recommend doing that, um, because I love roast chicken, and it's gonna be a tasty meal. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, there'll be many more coming, and I'm sending you all so much love, and I will see you soon.